Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I've got my friend uh, Saravanan who is having a uh, basic question like as per Quran, every Muslim, if he is good, will go to heaven. Uh, yesterday he has seen a program in Aztec TV where they have shown a lot of Adivasis. Those Adivasis are so much uh, lack of knowledge that they don't even wear dresses. They don't, yeah, in that case, they won't be having access to Quran, Bible or uh, any Hindu Vedas also. In that case, if they die, where will they go? Suppose if you say that they will go to hell, won't it be a, uh, like a curse on them, like uh, they'll be sent to hell? A non-Muslim brother asks a good question that he says that if a person is a good Muslim following Quran and say Hadith, he'll go to Jannah. What about those people like Adivasi who have not heard about Islam? So, and if they are put in hell, so Allah is unjust, no spillah. And the question is a very logical question. But Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 40, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. He's never unjust. But the question is a logical question. Point number one. Today in the age of science and technology, what your question would have carried weight maybe 50 years back, 100 years back. Today in the age of science and technology, hardly you can say there's any human being who does not know about Islam, who has not heard about Islam. But even if I agree with your question, that hypothetically there's an island in which some human beings are living, which no one in the world has met them, they haven't been told about Islam. So if they die, where will they go? Andoban Nicobar, I have gone to Andoban Nicobar Island, I have given a speech also. So to say they haven't heard about Islam is wrong. I have given a speech in Port Blair. And I mean, you know, so the age of science and technology. By satellite, the speeches are going there. They see my lectures in Andoban Nicobar. So to say that Andoban Nicobar have not heard about Islam, I don't agree with you. But hypothetically, suppose there is an island, people who have not heard about Islam, what is their status? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, that every child is born in Deen al-Fitr. Every child is born as a Muslim. Later on when he grows up, he is influenced by his parents, by his elders, by his teachers. Then he starts worshipping fire, starts worshipping idols. Then he goes on the wrong track. So the Prophet said every child is born in Deen al-Fitr. Therefore when a non-Muslim accepts Islam, the more appropriate word is revert rather than convert. Convert means one track to the other. Revert means was on the correct path, went to the wrong path came back to the correct part. The right English word is revert. There was research done on two tribes, the Kapauko tribe and the Australian Aborigines. These two tribes did not come in contact with modern civilization till as late as 1950. When researchers went and tried to find out that what was their way of life, they found out it was nothing but Islam. They believed in one God. They believed God does not beget. They did the sujood for praying to that God. They did not believe in idol worship. So it was everything of Islam but in name. They didn't call themselves Muslims. But they believed in one God. They did not do shirk. So Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 53, Sanurihim ayatina fil afakhi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana anna ulhaq. Allah says, soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their soul until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah says, irrespective whether Muslims do da'wah or not, whether we do da'wah or not, Allah says in Surah Fusila chapter 41 verse 53, that He Himself, to every individual human being, He will give the message directly into their hearts. He will show them the signs in the furthest region of the horizons. Sanurihim ayatina fil afakhi wa fi anfusim hatta yatabaynu anna ulak. That we shall show them the signs in the furthest region of the horizon until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah has taken upon Himself that He will give this message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly to every individual. Every individual. So even if no Muslim reaches Him, He does not get the message of Islam. He has not heard of the Quran, but He will hear about Tawheed. Allah will directly give him the message of Tawheed. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48, and Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 116, that Allah will never forgive the sin of shirk. Any other sin, if He pleases, He may forgive. Anyone who does shirk has gone far away. So anyone may be living in a tribe who has not heard about Islam, but Allah will give the message directly about Tawheed. If He does not do shirk, there are chances that He may go to Jannah. If he does shirk, no chances of Jannah. If he has not done shirk, so Allah will see the judge, the pros and cons. Because Allah has given the message of Tawheed directly to him. He believes in one God. He does sujood. He prays. So in that case, 
depends upon his actions and deeds everything else allah will judge him and he can go to jannah hope that answers the question so in the right terminology he is a muslim muslim means he submits his will to god he may not call himself muslim by name but the prophet said every child is born in dinul fitr this person living in an island he is following dinul fitr the innate religion 